So hey, Lawn Care Nation, as you can see behind me here, we got a new piece of equipment from Crest to unbox and take a look at in this video. If you uh, watched uh, my coverage of the Equip Expo last month and saw the video that I put out, I'll leave a link up at the top here uh, to the uh, Crest uh, booth tour. You would have uh, saw this uh, particular piece of equipment towards the end of the video where we briefly chatted about it. So this is Crest's new two-stage snowblower kit. Now this isn't uh, officially a commercial tool, it's part of their prosumer line uh, and it looks equal to the gas powered uh, craftsman unit that I used for many years uh, in my lawn care business when I was taking care of uh, residential driveways and sidewalks as well as commercial uh, properties for their sidewalks and walkways and things like that. So after the Equip Expo, Crest actually reached out to me and they asked, hey, do you want one to try out uh, and see uh, what uh, it's capable of uh, doing? And of course, uh, I said yes. Uh, what a fantastic opportunity uh, to uh, put a tool to the test uh, for the upcoming winter. So in this video, uh, it's late uh, November. We haven't actually had any snow yet uh, at my location, but I figured uh, I gotta get this uh, unit out put it together and get it ready so that it is ready uh, once uh, the first snowfall hits. So uh, we're gonna put it together, see what's included and uh, take a, a detailed walk around. All right, so let's dive into it. So let's take a quick look at the label here. So according to the label, this is model number KG471. Uh, it's part of Cress's uh, 60 volt max line, has a brushless motor. This particular kit comes with uh, four of their uh, 60 volt uh, prosumer batteries. Those are the same batteries uh, that I've been using and testing uh, with the handheld blower. Uh, it has a 24 inch uh, clearing swath and uh, it has an intake height of 17 and a half inches. So it'll do up to 17 and a half inches uh, deep of snow uh, to be able to intake that. So uh, let's pop the box open and see what we got. So initially we got a couple of batteries at the top. Uh, there, two batteries there. Got some packing over here. Some more packing over here. Nicely packed here, some plastic around some more bubble wrap another box right there so let's dig into it all so kit's very nice so far like i said it comes with four uh, batteries which is really cool i believe it uses uh, two batteries at once uh, so they're basically giving you one set to use and then another set uh, as a spare uh, to have as backup so that you can have one on the charger as you're using the others. Uh, and they're rated uh, with the two batteries uh, to be able to clear a 21 car driveway. So that kind of gives you a scope of uh, what this would be able to do. Uh, a 21 car driveway with eight inch uh, deep snow. So uh, that's uh, how much you'll get out of uh, one set of batteries. So uh, pretty neat that they include all four. So I'm gonna take a moment to read the instructions. Don't tell my wife, I don't wanna lose any man cred. Okay, so it turns out that that's it for assembly. It was very, very easy. Uh, essentially just putting the handle on, uh, putting those uh, carriage bolts in whatever the height is that you wanna use with the uh, hand tightened uh, wing nuts there, and then lifting uh, the chute deflector assembly and just sitting it on top of uh, uh, this uh, round uh, portion here uh, where the discharge comes out and then uh, the uh, bar that comes down here using those two bolts uh, to tighten uh, those in place. All right, so let's take a closer look at it. So uh, the front here is all steel construction. It's going to the back and the frame is all steel. It's got some plastic parts here, of course, the motor housing, uh, your chute deflector here as well. Uh, the handles, it's got a, a light on the front there. And then uh, for the controls on the back, You've got a lever here on this side. This looks like it's to uh, engage uh, the actual auger. So it's got a safety mechanism here that you're gonna push forward and then you'll be able to uh, press the handle down. That'll get the auger spinning. There's also a lever here uh, with a little auger indicator, kind of hard to see on camera, but that's uh, for your auger speed. So you can go uh, full speed or uh, lower speed. Uh, that's pretty handy as well, depending on the conditions. 
Uh, right here, you've got uh, a button to turn on the lights. You've got a button with an arrow on it. That's uh, to go into reverse for the self-propel. Uh, over here, you've got a uh, speed indicator for your actual self-propel speed. So slow, you got the turtle, and then fast uh, for the rabbit. And the little picture of uh, some wheels there. And then uh, this unit here is your deflector. So uh, you can uh, pull it back and forward to go left and right. So you'll notice here as well, it's got a little red button on the side uh, that allows you to raise and lower this handle. And that's to uh, raise and lower the chute deflector there. So if I press uh, the little button there, then I can pull up on it and it's gonna raise that chute deflector. If I push down on it, it's going to lower that. So pretty neat that you can do all of the functions left and right and up and down all with the same lever. And then uh, this lever, of course, is to engage the self-propel uh, to actually get to the snowblower uh, moving forward. And the speed is just dependent on what you have uh, set here on that unit there. Okay, so let's take a look at the business end. And because this unit is battery powered, uh, it's pretty lightweight not having a big uh, you know, engine on there, especially when the batteries aren't in there. So I'm just gonna tilt this unit uh, back on its uh, rear handles, which is very easy to do, even one-handed while holding the camera. So we can take a closer look at this side. So of course you got those skid shoes, fully adjustable, uh, that adjusts the height between this rear metal scraper bar and the ground. So you wanna adjust that depending on your conditions. So you can uh, raise the shoes up, that'll drop the unit down so that you get a tighter uh, scraping surface between the pavement and that bar. But if you're doing things like uh, gravel and stuff, you'll wanna lower the shoes, which is gonna raise this so that you're not sucking in uh, gravel and stuff into that. And it's gonna leave a you know, a, a bit of a layer of snow so that you're not uh, doing that. It's gonna ride on those skid shoes. So you've got uh, the uh, metal auger blades here. And, and if we take a close look here, those are uh, the shear bolts uh, that they've included uh, eight extras there. So the augers here are mounted and welded to these tubes that uh, run uh, on top of a shaft there. You can see the shaft is uh, running through the center of the tube. So having those shear bolts there uh, are designed uh, to break very easily in case you hit an immovable object like a rock or a curb or something that you can't see because it's covered in snow. So instead of having uh, the augers hit something that's immovable and uh, potentially damage the gearbox and uh, the unit, uh, those shear bolts will break uh, very easily. They have a little notch that's engineered into them right there. Uh, so it's a little bit... Uh, thinner uh, width there. See if you guys can see that. Uh, so it's designed to break uh, right there very easily. Uh, and that's gonna cause uh, the uh, actual auger to stop moving while the shaft in between or inside is still spinning. So you're not damaging uh, that gearbox. So that's why they give you uh, eight spares there. And it looks like uh, from the looks of this that uh, it uses uh, one shear bolt uh, for each of these. So you've got uh, eight spares there. Uh, to be able to replace that. You've got uh, your back unit uh, as well uh, back here, and uh, it's got a couple of shear bolts uh, on there as well on that back uh, auger. So uh, this front auger is basically uh, meant to collect the snow and direct it into uh, this rear auger, which uh, the job of this unit here is just strictly to push the snow up the chute and get it as far away as possible from uh, where you're uh, snow blowing. So this unit's actually rated to do, I believe 51 feet of a throw distance uh, with that unit. So uh, that's the difference between a single stage and a dual stage. A single stage snow blower uh, just has the front auger and it does both jobs. It collects the snow and also has to push the snow up the chute. Uh, so a dual stage is for uh, much more heavier conditions, uh, much uh, heavier duty snow, things like that, just much tougher conditions because it's got the two auger system. Uh, so that front one is just for collecting snow. That's why uh, with two stage systems, you can see they're a lot uh, bigger in terms of the amount of snow that you can uh, attack with them. This one's 17 and a half inches. Uh, most single stage units are about 12 inches or 11 inches even. 
So about half, uh, you know, the height there about, or just a little over half the height there for a single stage versus the two stage. Uh, so just uh, able to handle a lot deeper snow. All right, so let's throw a couple of batteries in and uh, see uh, how it works. So if actually first, what I'm going to do, just out of curiosity's sake, check the battery, it's got two bars, is I'm gonna put one battery in first and uh, see if anything happens uh, with just the one battery. You've got uh, two sections here, they're not labeled. Uh, two batteries recommended. So there you go, it will run off of a single battery. You're just not gonna get uh, the run times uh, that you would uh, with having the two recommended batteries. So we'll pop that in there, turn the lights on and off. So to get the auger spinning, we need to uh, push up on the safety here. I've got it on the slowest speed. And then we'll go uh, through the speed ranges of the auger. So that's the auger speeds. And then uh, to go forward, I've got it on the slowest speed here. I don't have much room here inside, but we'll see uh, what we can do. So that's the slowest speed. And we'll put it on the max. Oh, it like kind of builds up. Yeah, it seems to build up a little bit, getting uh, kind of the gearing going. And then I'm gonna try that reverse button. Oh, a light comes on. And then it automatically turns off when you stop going in reverse. So I'll show you that. So to go forward, just pull down on the handle. To go in reverse, you just press the button. The light's gonna come on. It goes in reverse and as soon as you let go, the light turns off and it's gonna go forward again. So super easy to use. So let's try that all with uh, a second battery in there and just see uh, if that makes a difference in the speeds or anything like that. So again, the light on and off. Have the auger on the slowest speed. forward so still about the same doesn't make a difference whether it's the one battery or two uh, at least it seems so it looks like uh, having the two batteries is just to be able to uh, get uh, extended run time so there you have it long care nation that is the crest uh, prosumer two-stage uh, 60 volt snowblower kit with the four batteries let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of these uh, battery powered uh, snowblowers that are coming onto this market uh, this unit looks to be pretty uh, robust uh, very well made very similar uh, to the gas uh, two-stage units that i've used in the past and uh, looks like it would be a, a pretty neat unit to uh, add to a lawn care business uh, a lot quieter to do those like uh, nighttime runs uh, where you may uh, be uh, doing the snow removal for your clients after maybe some uh, priority commercial properties first and showing up on those residential uh, uh, you know streets and stuff uh, in the later hours so definitely a bonus having a battery powered unit that would be a lot quieter uh, than a, its gas counterpart so if you're interested in this uh, crest uh, two-stage snowblower kit uh, then make sure you stay tuned to the channel hit that subscribe button as soon as we get uh, any snowfall starting to happen here then I'll I'll be sure to uh, film some videos and uh, put it to the test and uh, show you guys what this unit's capable. Uh, when I'm finally able to test this out in some snow conditions, I'll film videos.
videos of that and I'll link those videos uh, on the end screens of this particular video. So when you get to the end of this video, uh, the suggested videos that pop up on the screen for you to watch next, if uh, I've had a chance to test this unit out, uh, I'll link uh, those videos on that end screen.